so yesterday I talked about, I think it was yesterday, right? About with Doctor Who and how are uh, these um, series, these uh, stories that we've known and loved for 60 years are just outright being destroyed with political politics, you know, personal politics and uh, all that shit. Well, there's a new Star Wars series coming out. It's called Andor, I think. I think it's just called Andor. And you'll never guess what part of it is going to be about. Looks like a, a good chunk of it. <laughs> you're never... Oh, 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 you're never going to guess this one. And if you do, congratulations. I'll give you... I'll give you a few seconds to take a guess. Now remember, this is Star Wars. You ready? You ready? I don't think you're ready. It's going to be about Orange Man bad. Star Wars next show will criticize Donald Trump politics, reveals actor. This man has not been in power for two fucking years, and they are still going on about him. They are still going on about him. Star Wars and or tackling Donald Trump era politics. I don't care. And, well, I bet if it was but no. There's no reason to be making Star Wars involving any kind of current president or, you know, the same thing if it was with Biden. If you had a bunch of right wing nuts making fucking uh, uh, Star Wars I'd be doing the same fucking thing if they were adding Biden to the show. You know, and talking about his politics. But no, it's not about him. Of course it's about Orange Man. Because why wouldn't it be? The news networks for the past two fucking years have not shut the fuck up about him. He has no fucking power anymore. He's not going to be president again. And they are still fucking talking about him. To the point where now they're putting him... Uh, in some way, into fucking Star Wars. Get the fuck out of here. This is why people don't fucking like Star Wars anymore. This is why all the fucking Star Wars movies are failing. This is why Andor is going to fucking fail. This is why Doctor fucking Who is failing. This is why fucking Star Trek is failing. Yes, they even had January, they had January 6th in fucking Star Trek. This is why this shit is fucking failing. Because of this stupid fucking retarded bullshit right here because of this and you can go look that up yourself they were i can't remember because i don't watch that stupid fucking series the the newer series but they were showing things of like uh things in the past they were bringing up january 6th and this and oh yeah this led to the the worst thing in human history and blah 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 this is why people don't fucking take these series uh, serious anymore. You just couldn't leave Orange Man bad alone. You just couldn't leave him alone. So when are we gonna see a fucking uh, um, a, a series about uh, Biden's uh, Parmesan snorting, uh, child uh, loving uh, self? Are we gonna see something about him? No, of course not. Of course not. In talking with Empire, Endor actress Fiona Shaw revealed that Gilroy has written a great take on the Trumpian world, and the events in the series reflect what's happening in the world today. What do you mean today? Trump isn't president anymore. So when are these people going to realize that he's not in power anymore? He has no say over anything. <clears throat> He can go out there, he can have his rallies, he can campaign, campaign. That doesn't give him any power. As to what the finished project will look like, particularly given Andor's, Andor's echoes of the Trumpian world, So the Trumpian world, it's going to be mean tweets, uh, low gas prices, uh, the, the best economy we've had in a while, 
uh, black unemployment rates uh, down, women, female employment rates down. I mean, what, so it's going to be a good economy, except for the fact that, oh, some guys can be sending out mean tweets. Give me a fucking break. This is why no one takes this shit any serious anymore. They just can't just... It's this man who is continuing to give views to fucking shit outlets like CNN and MSNBC because they just babble about him all the goddamn time. If he, this man wasn't around, they, CNN wouldn't even be a fucking thing anymore. They wouldn't even be a thing. This, I mean, it's, this is a real thing. This isn't, this isn't a, a satire. No, they are making a story about a Trumpian world in Star Wars. Despite the fact that the man hasn't been president for two goddamn years. Trump derangement syndrome is real, and these fucking idiots are goddamn fucking proof that it fucking exists. Do not sit here and say it doesn't exist. This man has been living rent-free in their heads for two fucking years. Actually, for since he became president. And even after leaving office, he is still living rent-free in their fucking heads. The, the politics have always been involved in Star Wars. Okay. Wars, you can pretty much put a war in there and just kind of cover it up. No fucking actor has come out and said, oh yeah, we're going to base it on this. This is the state of entertainment. Whether you hate the guy or like him, at this point, it's irrelevant. These people know exactly what they're fucking doing. And when the show fails, and it will, they have no one to fucking blame but themselves. Because they thought this was a fucking good idea. So basically, it's going to be a show about, you know, you're going to have some fucking space rednecks going around burning shit down and <laughs> yeah, uh, Tron will dump. <laughs> you know, they have to change his name. It's gonna be a fucking space dictator, right? Which, that, <laughs> not a dictator because guess what? Dictators dictate. That's how they stay in power. And yet, this man isn't a president anymore. So, yeah, some dictator he turned out to be, huh? Congratulations, Star Wars. You're a fucking joke. You're a fucking joke. You're killing a series, whether it's Disney or whoever. You're killing a series that people have loved. And you're killing it with this bullshit. Congratulations. That's it for me. You know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.